What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to add WooCommerce projects thumbnails into your WordPress pages and layouts in a simple and easy method to create sections like this one present on our seller WordPress team by Visual Moodle. So we already have made a guide in our YouTube channel explaining how to create WooCommerce pages and WooCommerce main shop pages and templates and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here so you can create pages with your projects only like this one in the example here the Shopee right with the products the sidebar the default WooCommerce plugin template look but how to apply WooCommerce products in, into your layout? Once again, for this video, I'm gonna be using your seller WordPress team by Visual Moodle, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below in the case that you want to download it. So let's start creating a section like this with a big column background image and the products in the next column. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a guide explaining how to apply background images inside columns. So let's start by going to your WordPress dashboard pages add new. For this guide, we're gonna be using the WP Bakery Page Builder plugin, but you also can apply it into any other plugin style that you want, because the process will be the same. I'm gonna start using the backend editor, and after that I move to the front end, just to show its usage, but it's almost the same, but in the front end we can see the result immediately, but now go by parts. We're gonna add a row, like this, so two columns, one for the image and another for the title, the description and the product. So in the raw layout, we're gonna change to two columns layout, and in the first one, we're gonna click in the pencil button to edit the column. column settings, we're gonna move to the design options and click on the green plus button so we can upload our image, our column background image. We're gonna set it to cover so we can get the all the possible space. And let me click here in the simplify controls. So we can add zero in the padding, the border and the margin. So the image can occupy all the possible space. And I will not forget to click on the plus button inside a column to apply an empty space. This is important for mobile navigation. So the mobile can see the column behind the content and show it. Now we're gonna move to the other column and add a text block. We're gonna make it simple and use a unique text block for the title and description. Click on the plus button inside this column and move to the WooCommerce tab, Elements. And on this, we're gonna add the product. Sorry, the products. We're gonna change to two columns and let's leave this by default so we can move ahead. Let me show what happens if you do not select what projects you are gonna call. In the field, name it, click here and start timing. Let's check our layout. By default, the projects call all your shop projects, all the projects that you have created into the WooCommerce plugin pages. But we just want two of our projects in this section. 
how to do that let me show you the seller team homepage product element as we can see here we have the ID and the name you can see your project name here in WordPress dashboard products you see a list of your all your products and we're gonna copy this name So let me edit the products page builder element and in this section we're gonna type the product name. We just want two products in the section so these two we're gonna work. Let me preview. Now we're gonna click on the raw where these columns are located and click on the pencil button to edit this raw. Inside the raw settings, we're gonna set the straight raw with no paddings. So we can create a full widget section. But there is no space between the columns. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for another video guide explaining how to use the space into your WordPress site. But for now we're gonna add some padding left and right into the first column so we can separate the elements. And we're gonna click on full H raw by now just so the image can occupy all the space of the screen. Let me make the padding left and right a bit bigger. Perfect. Now we're gonna click in the clone so we can clone the raw and create a second one so we can play with. There is some space between the columns and the raw itself, and we, don't, we want to remove this space. How to do that? First of all, we're going to do the raw settings, design options, and set as zero the padding, the border, and the margin. And after that, do the same with the top section of the second row. Let me preview. A little smaller, but we need, we still have the space and we need to remove it. We're gonna unmark the full H row. So it only occupies the space that the elements on the column has. And we're gonna set the equal hedge. So both columns inside the rock can occupy the same space. Now we have the elements with no space between them. Let me do the same with the second row. Remove the full hedge and set the equal hedge. Perfect. Now you are fully able to play with it. Let me start using the front-end editor just to show its functionality and change something. Let's change these projects. We're gonna delete the element and apply another one. In the search field, we're gonna type posts and call the post grid element. 
in the data source, we're gonna select project. So it can call posts from your shop projects. A total of two items, save change, and in the item design tab, inside the post grid settings window, we're gonna be able to edit the way it looks. Like this. Very easy to create different sections and combinations. But let me go back to the backend editor. Reverse the, sh the changes. Change the column background image for the second row. Change the projects to be displayed in this section. Let us preview. Wonderful. And if we continue like this, we're going to be able to create fancy sections and attractive for your potential customers. So we can build page that create conversions. Let me create another row and call more projects, but now using the post grid, like I did in the front end. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to see the Visual Modo WordPress Teams portfolio of teams on visualmodo.com. And I see you later. All the best!